listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Wednesday, June 14th, 2023. This week we are talking about the Sacred Heart of Jesus as we prepare for this great feast day on Friday. Before we get back to that, though, please join me in praying the Come Holy Spirit prayer that we are learning this month in the Be a Saint Kids Club. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, Fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So we've already talked about how within the heart of Jesus, both human and divine love are united and how we can have a truly rich and beautiful encounter when we approach the sacred heart of Jesus. And I want you to realize that when we are at Holy Mass or we are in Eucharistic adoration, we are in the presence of Jesus Christ, his body, blood, soul, and divinity. Therefore, each time we are in the presence of the Eucharist, we are in the presence of Jesus's most sacred heart. So it is just of such a powerful thing to realize that Jesus is there. But as you go to Mass this weekend or whenever you next are able, really believe and know that you are in the presence of Jesus's heart as well. And so what is Jesus's heart like? What is the personality that we encounter there? Where we have the great gift of scripture where Jesus speaks about himself. And the one phrase that he says that really gives us access to what his heart is like is Jesus said, he said, I am meek and humble of heart. I am meek and humble of heart. Now, this is incredible because Jesus is God. He was there when the world was formed. He defeated death. He can do all things. He created us. And yet he says his love, his very heart is characterized by being meek and humble. So let's talk about these two words. First of all, humble. What does it mean to be humble? Well, it does not mean what you might think. A humble person does not think that they're bad or worthless. A humble person instead simply knows the truth. They know who they are and they know who God is. So for example, a humble person might know that they're very good at singing and they're excellent at making friends and maybe they even have better than average abilities at math. They know that. That's true. They aren't putting it in other people's faces. They aren't bragging about it, but they know that's true. They also know that they are not God. They know that they can't do all things that they need to pray and depend on God and come to God humbly, knowing that he can do all things and they cannot. So that is what it means to be humble. Now, what does it mean to be meek? Well, meek means that we are both humble and patient as we allow God to act. Now, there is one person in the Bible who is described as being meek beside Jesus, and that one person comes in the Old Testament, and his name is Moses. Yes, Moses, the great leader of Israel who took them out of slavery in Egypt, is meek. So if we look at his example, what does it mean to be meek? Well, imagine Moses standing on the shores of the Red Sea. The Pharaoh's army is coming after them, is going to kill them all. People are screaming, do something, do something. And what does Moses do? Does he fight? Does he run? No, he doesn't do any of those things. Instead, he prays and then he stands on a rock, holds out his arms 
and patiently waits for God to act. He knows that God will act. He knows that he, Moses, can do nothing in this moment, that God must do it. And he also knows that God will do all things at the right time. So he doesn't need to rush. He doesn't need to worry. He just needs to be patient. So that is the love of Jesus Christ. Jesus knows who he is. And he knows who we are. He knows the truth. And also, Jesus, throughout the gospel, submitted himself to God, to do God's will, to be obedient. So that is what it means to encounter the heart of Jesus Christ. That's what we will find there. We will find their true, authentic love that is obedient to God, that is patient, that is meek. I know that's a lot to think about, but it's really a beautiful way to to understand the way God loves. We are his friends. We are not his servants. He is inviting us. He will not force us. So we're going to continue to talk about the sacred heart of Jesus tomorrow, but I want you to join me today in the prayer, the very end of the prayer that all the families are saying as they are preparing to consecrate themselves to the sacred heart of Jesus. And it's simply this, O oh, Jesus, meek and humble of heart, Make our hearts like yours. So say that with me. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like yours. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Thank you so much for joining us this week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast as we discuss the sacred heart of Jesus. A big congratulations to all of the families out there that will be making this consecration to Jesus and his sacred heart on the feast this coming Friday. If you're just hearing about this for the first time, we do have a 33-day preparation for consecration to Jesus and His Sacred Heart. We have copies left in a digital copy as well. It is a good time, any time, to make this consecration. So if you would like to do that, please check the notes for this podcast episode. Get your copy, start preparing, and give your family to Jesus and His Heart. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.